What up, Giants fans? You're watching New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. Give me a follow over on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. I'm following everybody back that follows me until I get to 3,000 followers. We're about 200 away, so if you want to follow back, give me a follow on Twitter. On today's show, we're going to be kind of going to do a Giants NFL mock draft roundup. So I took a look. At 21 different mock drafts from ESPN, Pro Football Focus, the NFL Network, Pro Football Network, CBS Sports, The Ringer, anybody that puts out a mock draft, I took a look at it. What we're going to do to today's show is show you the guys that were selected the most often with pick number 25 in the mock draft. And we'll actually take a look at every player that has been selected in a mock draft by the Giants in the first round with pick number 25. The two guys that were selected the most most are both wide receivers. That's Jordan Addison, the wide receiver out of USC, formerly of Pitt, and Jackson Smith and Jigba out of the Ohio State University. Both these guys are absolutely great wide receivers, or receivers and they're going to set the tone once they get into the NFL. I think both these guys will be selected in the first round. They're just different types of receiver. I think Jordan Addison is the guy that stretches the full field vertically a little bit more. I think he's a little bit better with the ball in his hands. And to be quite frank, he's a little bit of a better athlete. But I am worried about his size a little bit. Whereas with Jackson Smith and Jigba, I'm worried about his durability. Only played in like three games this past year for Ohio State. But in his career, in 23 games, he had 110 grabs, over 1,600, almost 1,700 yards, 15 plus yards per catch, and 10 touchdowns. Look, I'd be cool with either one of these guys. I think both of them are going to be really good pros in the NFL. It's just like, which guy do you want? Which receiver do you prefer? I see Smith and Jigba as a guy that's a bigger slot that can play outside. My pro comp for uh, JSN is kind of like Juju Smith-Schuster. Maybe a little bit better, maybe a little bit more explosive, but that big slot that can play there, he's just smart. He runs good routes. He's got strong hands. He can get vertical after the catch, and he just got a high football IQ of knowing where to sit down in the holes. Whereas Jordan Addison, I've seen him comp to Emmanuel Sanders and a smaller and slider Stephon Diggs. Addison's probably the best route runner in the draft, and he's probably the most explosive receiver in the draft. So it just matters which guy you want. If pick 25 comes across and Roger Goodell tells me the Giants have selected Jordan Addison or Jackson Smith and Jigba, I would be cool with either one. But I do want to hear from you. When pick 25 is on the clock and you have to decide between Jordan Addison and Jackson Smith and Jigba, let me know which one you would take. Type J-A for Jordan Addison or J-S-N for Jackson Smith and Jigba. This will be the pinned comment below today's video so you might get hit with a youtube ad break right here when you do scroll down answer the question and by the time you're done the video will be playing there were three other players in these 21 mock drafts that were selected at least two times by the nfl beat writers zay flowers the wide receiver out of boston college i'm a really big fan of him he was selected twice so is quentin johnston he was selected twice and keely ringo the outside corner the most physical imposing corner in this draft, 6'2", 210, maybe 6'3", and is expected to run a 4'340". We'll talk about Ringo here in a second, but let's compare Zay Flowers and Quentin Johnston, who really could not be more polar opposites of types of receivers. Zay Flowers is your short and shifty guy that runs the full route tree, but he's not a contested catch guy. Honestly, I get kind of Antonio Brown vibes a little bit from Zay Flowers. A smaller guy, but he's strong, he's quick, good hands, can go over the top, and he can play outside. Whereas Quentin Johnston, my pro comp might be Plaxico Burris, a big wide receiver on the outside that can stretch the field. He's much better athlete than you probably think. 17.8 yards per catch. But my fear with Johnston is his route tree is limited. I went back and watched every catch he had this year at TCU, and I would say 50 of the 60 catches were either on go routes, posts, or short draggers across the field. Just pick your flavor of wide receiver. Do you want a guy like Zay Flowers that can play all over the football field? He can line up in the backfield. He can be your slot motion guy. He can line up outside. He can be a guy that catches screens. He can be an intermediate threat. Whereas Quentin Johnston is a deep threat, but we also saw him at TCU be used in somewhat of a jet sweep role. He's good with the ball in his hands. Do you want the six foot four guy that is a limited route tree? Or do you want the five foot 10, five foot 11 guy in Zay Flowers that can do it all except go up and grab it over the top of the defender's heads? The Giants, they also have a need at cornerback. 
And Keely Ringo is one of the most interesting prospects in this draft. He was clocked at a pre-draft workout of running 23 and a half miles per hour. The fastest ball carrier in the NFL was 22 miles an hour this year. Yes, he was at a workout. He was in shorts and a shirt, didn't have pads on. But when you're 6'2", 210, maybe 6'3", and you're going to run a 4'3", and you love to play press man coverage, Wink Martindale is salivating over a player like this. This year, he was graded by PFF as a 71.4. A lot of completion percentage of just 53.8. Only 552 yards. Allowed just one touchdown and had two interceptions. He did get kind of cooked by Marvin Harrison Jr., but he's the best receiver in college football, and I believe he's going to be a top 10 pick next season. If you want to go corner, I like Ringo. I also like Joey Porter Jr. a whole lot. And there's another corner the Giants have been mocked to, and we'll show you that in a second. But what's a bigger need for the Giants? I want all the real ones to sound off in the comment section for me right now. Is it wide receiver or is it cornerback? You see it right there. Let me know what is a bigger need for Big Woo. I also want to let you guys know, even though the NFL season's done and the off season's here, we don't have off seasons here at Chat Sports. We're going to continue to put out videos every single day on the latest Giants news and rumors. We're going to continue to go live once a week. We'll be live for NFL free agency. We'll be live for the NFL draft. We're going to put out videos that will help you stay up to date on everything Giants this off season. Hit that big red sub button. Help us get to 25K. There were five other players selected one time in these mock drafts. We'll run through these kind of slowly to kind of explain. Osiris Torrance is an interior offensive lineman from Florida. He's, you know, talked about as probably the best interior offensive lineman in this draft. Some people have him a little bit lower. Some people have him at number one. He's a big guy, but he's got good feet, good punch power. I'm a fan. If you want a guard, he's probably the guy that will be on the board and the best available at 25. John Michael Schmitz is projected to be a top center in this draft. I'm just a little bit worried about drafting a center in the first round, but that's a big need for the Giants. And if he's the highest player on their board, I'd be happy with the pick because he's definitely going to make this team better and would probably be a day one starter. Another corner that was mocked to the Giants is Clark Phillips the third out of Utah. Him compared to Ringo are completely different players. Ringo is that 6'3 outside corner, whereas Phillips is more of your slot. He's undersized, but he's a really sticky guy in coverage. Solid tackler, but he's more of a slot corner than an outside corner. I think the Giants need another outside corner. And then we got two linebackers, Trenton Simpson and Drew Sanders. Those were the two linebackers mocked to the Giants, and both these guys are absolute studs, and they're big guys. Drew Sanders like 6'3", Trent Thompson is 6'2", and they both have good weight on them, and when you look at the numbers this year, you can tell why these guys are going to be the two off-ball linebackers selected first in the 2023 NFL Draft. Drew Sanders was all over the field for a guy, uh, for Arkansas, over 100 tackles, 13 and a half tackles for loss, nine and a half sacks. That's a stat, a stat that I think pops out to me because Wink Martindale likes to be multiple in his defense. And if he has a Mike linebacker that can get off after the passer, that'd be awesome for him. I like Simpson maybe a little bit more. I think he's a better athlete. I think he's just more of a coverage guy as well. But I'd be cool with either one of these guys being drafted to Big Blue. Simpson, a little bit better in coverage, whereas Drew Sanders is a true Mike linebacker that is just a tackling machine. He can scrape the line of scrimmage and get downhill and even blitz a little bit. I like him also. Both these guys, I'd love to have him in Big Blue. There were also two wide receivers outside of those five guys we just showed you that were also mocked to the Giants at least one time in these 21 mock drafts. Jalen Hyatt and Josh Downs of North Carolina. Both these guys, smaller receivers, six foot and under, but different. Josh Downs is a slot receiver that might be one of the best route runners in this draft. Strong hands. He's got a high football IQ. He's the reliable target over the middle. They call him Josh, third and down. He's just a guy that gets open and moves the sticks, while Jalen Hyatt is the type of guy that makes the ref's arms move from by his hips to up by his ears because it's a touchdown. All Jalen Hyatt did this year was score touchdowns. 67 grabs, 15 tutties. What do you have, four against Alabama? He is just explosive. I'm just worried about his actually skills as a receiver. He's fast and he can catch. What about route running? What about football IQ? Because when you watch Hyatt, go look at his highlights. Every single one, he is wide open, largely in part because he's extremely athletic and might be the fastest player in the draft. 
but also because he played for a Mickey Mouse offense in Tennessee, and there was just literally always someone open. 19 yards per catch for Hyatt. Look, if you're looking for a guy to move the change, it's Josh Downs. If you're looking for a guy to take a top off the defense, it's Jalen Hyatt. We've gone through four, nine, 11 players that could be targeted by the Giants at pick number 25. Maybe one of the 11 guys I mentioned isn't someone that you want. So this is your opportunity to yell at me in the comments section. Who do you want the Giants to draft in the first round with pick number 25? I want the best player on the board. And I know that's a cop-out answer, but I trust Joe, Saint, Joe Shane to get, the, to get this pick right. Let me know who you think the Giants should draft. And I also just want to say thank you for everybody tuning into today's show. You guys have been awesome. You've been showing love even with the season over. Appreciate you guys. Continue to click those videos and watch. And if you made it this far in the video, I want you to type real one down in the comment section. Haven't done that in a while, but only the real ones tuning into the off season. And I want to know who finishes the video. So show me you finished the video by commenting real one.